Hello. So I did a video back then about uh, the Bioweave Shield, uh, why to use them and how to optimize it with engineering and shield booster. So why not doing that uh, with uh, the Prismatic Shield Generator? First, why would you want Prismatic Shield Generator? Uh, well, there's two main reasons. First, for PvP and two L for PvE, obviously. Uh, if you want to have uh, the maximum shielding output, the maximum shield elf, at the detriment of anything else, that's the way to go. So why do I use them? It's basically uh, for my FDL in PvP, or I use it even in PvE, but on bigger ship like uh, my Corvette. Because since my Corvette is not very good at uh, evading shot, it's gonna be uh, almost always under fire, so it's not gonna have much time to regen because she'll always start to regen five seconds out of combat. So that means, well, Bioweave is good at regening fast. If you're not able to regen much, then I'm providing way too much shield. Well, there's never enough shielding, but you see what I mean. All right, um, I'm here with my FDL, optional internal, and let's have a look at my prismatic here. It's somewhere over there. There we go. I have the reinforced shield modification with the ICAP experiment, experimental. Let's look at it. So what it does, the power draw is increased the regenerate the broken regenerate is increased and distributor draw is increased well the important stuff here the optimal shield strength that boosts the shield capacity and some well acceptable bonus to resist so i have grade five so with that if i'll only quit the shield alone it's gonna give me 817.9 so you may think that's not a lot, but uh, we need some booster now. So I'm um, uh, with those shield, you, uh, you may maybe want to uh, balance a bit with some resist, but your main goal would be to have the highest shield cap and don't care about shield regen. All right, check, let's check utility. Here we got a booster. So with one booster. So these are heavy duty booster with super capacitor. So we'll have a real look. Basically it boosts from 20% to 73 point something percent with the super capacitor increasing the bonus a bit at the detriment of some resist. So we want higher ice cap possible. That's the way to go. Uh, let's equip a few of these. There's another one, the shield are already at 2k, so with two boosters, already better than my uh, bi-weave shield setup. But then again, my bi-weave is for different uh, scenario. And different advantage as well. Alright, two more here. Alright, we're gonna reach 3k most likely with that other one here. Uh, oh, there it is. 3k. Then let's equip another one. Oh, yeah, I passed it. There we go, I have another one of the same. Alright. Let's wait for the last one. So, whatever kind of booster I equip, I should reach 4k no problem, which is a pretty decent amount for a medium ship. Let's have a look at the stat here. Okay, she'll have, of course, we know it's pretty good. Kinetic resistance, well, is actually very nice. Explosive is very nice. But the thermal resist, though, is not as good. I mean, you're gonna get increased damage from uh, thermal resist. So. Well, you have a two choice here. You can even you can go with higher shield cap, or the last shield booster. You can you may want to balance a bit the thermal resist. 
that's the the thing you there is no best scenario because if you're fighting people that shoot you with PA, your shield cap would be better. But if there's mixed weapon firing at you, uh, a booster that have more resist, especially to thermal, is gonna do way better. So let's have a look. Outfitting, utility, transfer. Okay, I don't have another one with uh, uh, the uh, the mod. I mean the that mod here. I forgot the name. The super capacitor. So the, the increase not going to be as high, but it's still pretty good. So 65. So it's going to be me put me way over 4k. Well, with a normal shield booster, I'm not reaching 4K, but I should be reaching 4K if, like, I do a little tweaking, uh, because there's, most of them are grade 5, but not to the max, so I could I could have an experimental to that booster to boost the uh, maximum capacity, so it's not a big problem. I'll call, for me, I call this 4K, even though it's not really. Well, let's have a look here with a booster uh, that boosts all my resist. Have a look at the result. Yeah, I don't care about my power right now because I'm not gonna actually test them. Okay. Stuff need to reboot. All right. <laughs> okay, so we went to minus ten ish to eight point one, and kinetic went up a bit. Now, let's try another scenario. Maybe you can equip a booster that is focused on thermal resist. You lose kinetic on the other one, but it's not too bad. And you get a substantial amount of uh, thermal resist. Stuff gonna reboot again. Uh, yep. Everything should be up. 19. Well, for me, it's way better from minus 10. And we still have these. We still have. We reach. Uh, still for. Sorry. We still reach 4K shielding. And with that booster, if I had engineering that increase a bit more tomo resistant, that could be worth it. Because, well, kinetic over 40% is not bad. So that setup right there, I will prefer that than having negative shield resistance to thermal. But in the end, it's up to you. And then again, you should reach 4K, exactly 4K, with a bit more tweaking and more... Uh, you know, my grade 5 may not be all the way up, so you should be able to reach stuff like that but it's your opinion so another booster with a super capacitor yeah well I hope this wasn't insightful for you so thank you for watching see you next time